Hello, my name is Peter Parfit. Welcome to the New Brit Workshop. Now, you may have seen my measuring and marking video, which I made a little while ago, uh, but I want to take that just one step further now. But as a very quick reminder, in that video, I showed you a number of different products which I use uh, for measuring and marking. Now, I bought this uh, Incra Precision T rule from the Woodworkers Workshop here in the UK. Um, the uh, eye gauging uh, digital height gauge I bought from Lee Valley and uh, this is what I use for setting my uh, writer table uh, up and also uh, when I'm doing rebate work on my uh, saw table. That's absolutely spot on for that. Uh, also another eye gauging product, this too came from Woodworkers Workshop, is this dig digital angle cube for setting uh, angles and that's quite useful uh, for checking uh, the accuracy of an angle when you've set it on your uh, saw table and perhaps also on your mitre saw. Now the other eye gauging product which I use every single day, I use this a huge amount, is this uh, digital caliper uh, and uh, it's really nice uh, and it certainly has all the accuracy that I need for any of my woodwork. In fact, it's um, more accurate than most people would need for woodwork, but it's particularly useful when you're doing really accurate jig work because uh, the jig is what will dictate the accuracy of what it's used to create. Now I think most people know that I do a little bit of tool design in my spare time, uh, uh, like uh, these Veritas Path Dogs from Lee Valley. Uh, those were my design and also the uh, UJK Path Guide system made by Axminster Tools and Machinery which allows you to set up your, your table with its beautifully accurate set of 20 millimeter holes. Now when you get down to these sort of products uh, then uh, you really need something which is just a dash better than an ordinary digital caliper. And so I realised it's time that um, I started looking at uh, micrometers. And that's the purpose of this video, is to tell you about a new micrometer uh, which has come from eye gauging. And this is the eye gauging absolute encoding IP65 speed mic. Now in the box there's the speed mic itself. Uh, there's a spare battery, there's a little gadget which is to help you get the battery cover off and there's also a little gadget which helps you measure uh, to the inside of a round surface. And the instructions are crystal clear, very simple to follow and inside the box you also get a calibration certificate and that's a calibration certificate uh, which is filled out by hand for this particular device. Now I'm really grateful to iGaging in America for sending the sample product to me so I can make this video. Now there are various models in the range. Uh, this one has a one inch throat. Uh, there are models which have two, three, four, five and six uh, inch throats but the measurement range is still only over one inch as is this machine. Now the unique selling point uh, of this machine is this and this is what makes it a speed micrometer because there's no longer the need, as you do on the old-fashioned micrometers, to have to start twiddling knobs at the end here. Uh, all you do is use this thumb lever here, put whatever it is you're measuring in there, and that's it. And that means then you can measure small things and, and large things uh, rapidly in succession without, as you've had to do on, in the past, screwing in uh, the adjuster at the end of the micrometer. And uh, I, I believe this uh, speed uh, system here is unique to eye gauging. Uh, certainly no one else uh, does this as far as I know. And that is very, very clever indeed. Now the other selling point of this course is IP65. Uh, and that's mainly aimed at the machinist who's uh, probably putting his hand grabbing uh, components which are probably covered in liquid coolant uh, which are used on lathes and uh, CNC machines uh, and you're going to get the micrometer covered in this coolant. Well this is good, uh, it's waterproof effectively uh, and also it's dustproof so I'm not worried about any dust whatsoever uh, getting into this here in my workshop. Now it's accurate to 0 0.003 millimeters. Uh, so therefore it's got three numbers after the decimal point so the final one uh, could be out by as much as uh, th three uh, and that's more than enough accuracy 
uh, for me. Bearing in mind my caliper, which I've been using, is good to 0 0.03 millimeters. So this one's 10 times more accurate. Now there's also a, a USB port on here, which means that if you're uh, a designer sitting in front of a computer uh, and you're running a CAD program of some sort or drawing package of some sort, uh, then you can use this to directly feed in measurements into that drawing or CAD package. And also it means when I'm designing new products, it does mean that I can check components that are going to be bought in for a particular design and see whether they're suitable for the idea that I have in mind. Uh, other things like stock materials, uh, getting those checked out is also extremely useful, making sure they are the right size. Now I want to measure the wall thickness of this piece of tubing, uh, so I now put this little gadget uh, from the box in here, uh, put it on there, uh, reset the absolute to zero, and that's now set to zero, and I can now uh, put this in here like so, and I've now got the thickness of this tube, 1.41 millimeters. That's fine, so I can now put that into my design. So that's it, that's the uh, gauging absolute encoding IP65 speed mic. Now, as far as I know, that these are not yet readily available here in the UK, but if you are interested in one of these, uh, do try the Woodworkers Workshop. In America, uh, they range from about $105 up to about $120, depending uh, where you look for them. Thank you very much for watching. Take care. Bye-bye.